So why do my clients choose to work with me? If you've ever had any previous experience with a financial advisor, chances are the conversation revolved around how much money do you have, where is it located, and we can do a better job. It would seem that most investment firms share the same singular focus of trying to find better products that earn a higher rate of return, which often requires you to take more risk. For all of the fancy analytics and mathematical acrobats available today, nobody has yet figured out how to predict the future. Earning higher rates of returns is certainly not a bad thing and something we can help you with as well. However, we believe we should help our clients avoid money they could be losing unnecessarily before considering options that require more risk. Return is not the only thing to consider when evaluating the efficiency of your own personal economic model. There are three types of money. The money used to secure your financial future must somehow come from these three areas. Accumulated money represents the dollars you currently have invested and are currently saving. You could focus your attention on these dollars in order to find better investments that potentially pay higher rates of return. Lifestyle money represents the dollars that you are spending to maintain your current standard of living, where you live, what you eat, where you vacation, and things like that. For many people, this is where the conversation ends. While everyone wants to solve their financial problems, reducing their current standard of living is not a popular option. So what if there was a way to address the issue without having to incur more risk or impact your present lifestyle? Well, I'm really glad you asked. Transferred money represents the dollars you may be transferring away from yourself unknowingly and unnecessarily. These are things like how you pay for your house, what you pay in taxes, how you fund your retirement accounts, non-deductible interest you may be paying, how much or how you pay for major capital purchases like cars, education, weddings, and other expenses. There are really only two ways a financial advisor can be of help to you. The first is by finding better products that pay higher rates of return, often requiring more risk. And the second way is by helping you be more efficient by avoiding unnecessary losses. I believe there is more opportunity to serve my clients by helping them first avoid the losses before trying to pick the winners. My focus with clients begins with eliminating the involuntary and unnecessary wealth transfers. Consider this. There are two ways to fill up a bucket that has holes in it. One way is to pour more in, and the other is to first plug the holes, then the bucket will fill even if there's a trickle. Which strategy more closely resembles the way you are currently approaching your financial management? Don't forget to share this video, like, and subscribe to my channel. And remember, every financial decision you make is either creating an opportunity for you or for others. So ask yourself, will this build my circle of wealth? And then go out and live your best life now.